Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and in this video I will talk a little bit more about the set expression. So, in my previous videos, I have already talked about a lot of features of uh, set analysis, and uh, I will be extending my conversation for the same topic and we'll discuss a few more interesting topics. So one other feature is basically a possible list of values and the excluded list of values. So how we can you know achieve that and what can be the business scenario we will look here. So for example this is my currently a metric showing me uh, the value for the order month one. So if I show you the properties and the expression so it is showing me the order month is equals to one and then excluding rest of the filters right so but what we want is you want to make it dynamic behavior we can select any value from here but no effect if I select any related values uh, from these uh, filters so how I can do that uh, simply in simple way I will just use P. P is basically a function which says possible list of values bracket and order month right so what it is saying that select the possible list of values from order month column but ignore rest of the filters so once I click apply and OK and I will select suppose anything from here four so month is four but if I select anything from here or here you know the metric will not change if I select company CC there is no change or any employee ID you know the value will not change so this is how you can reduce the impact of the relative values from the rest of the filters if this is the kind of behavior you are trying to achieve so I'll just click clear and the next topic will be using the exclude list of values function and that is basically an opposite of possible list of values as it sounds so it is basically something like if I select month one it will going to exclude it will basically not pick that one value but take rest of the values which is excluded and generate the results so what I really mean by that if I go to properties instead of P if I say E that is saying telling me pick the excluded list so if I selected two don't get the two but rest of the month which is one three four five six and then generate the results click apply so currently because I have not selected anything everything is uh, you know selected over here uh, everything not anything is uh, unselected that's why no values but if I say select anything now the results are generated that means it is picking up the values of 1 3 4 5 6 if I select 5 a change so if this is your requirement that you don't want the result of a selected value but all the result of all the excluded values that's how you can achieve it so after this uh, let's move on to our next topic which is uh, dynamic pop again a dynamics uh, you know population of values so what I mean by that is something like uh, every month whenever we do a refresh you know we want to select the current month information and then you know compare it by the previous month information all of these information sometimes we want you know dynamic so that right after the data refresh we don't have to do anything so for that kind of feature uh, again the set analysis comes into existence with the help of formulas so what I mean by that is we will go, what we are now going to do we will select the uh, current month information say for example our current month is month 6 and then compare it by the previous month which is month 5 so we'll select the so based on our selection also so if I select month 4 then it should show month 3 information also so if I select month 2 it should show me month 1 information so things like that so if I go back and change the expression a little bit so what I'm going to do now order month is equals to I will put a curly brackets 
within that I will specify my expression and my expression will be this so what it is doing as you remember from my first video we use the double quotation to search the values so what we are searching is the current month and the current month number will be the maximum month number right so if my if I'm again refreshing the data next month next month will be 7th which means July it will by default pick it will uh, dynamically pick that month number so we don't have to come back again and again here and change the number in the matrix but this max function will do the work for us so currently it is it will pick the month 6 number so what it is doing within double quotation the dollar sign to evaluate it and then bracket putting the equal sign for the formula and the formula is max of order month and then closing the bracket uh, for dollar and then double quotation sign so after this if I say click OK and instead of total order value if I say month and then ampersand to concatenate and then the field name so for that first of all I need to put this into double quotation and say equals to month and percent field name is uh, order month right and say click apply and okay so currently it is not coming because maybe we need to do actually certainly we need to do some adjustment which will be putting a max function over here also so we will say uh, max and then the brackets uh, starting bracket and then the closing bracket okay if I click apply see month 6 is now coming all right but you need a space after that so what I will do I'll just do a space right after this for a proper formatting and now it is changing right up now after this we will have to compare it with the last month information so we will have to have a month 5 over here so I will do I will just copy this expression control C I will add the expression control V and order month from this expression right here I will put minus 1 1 so what it is doing from the maximum it is reducing 1 that means last month 6 minus 1 is 5 right simple math click this apply and now I have last month information but we need to format the value a little bit so for this I will again pick this thing no need to reinvent the wheel uh, minus one right maximum order order month minus one I think some problem over there no issues we will rectify that and uh, very quickly properties I think it's matter of the fact that it should be in one big bracket so just simply copy put a bracket over there and then copy and just put a bracket and click apply okay so month 5 now you can see month 6 and month 5 now if I select month 4 now you can see month 4 and month 3 month 3 dynamically picking up the values month 5 so this this can be your way you know to uh, to do your analysis dynamically so it will work on month it will work on year quarter whatever information you have and you can achieve the point in time reporting which is also a very important a broad subject uh, into the set analysis but this is what the basic is this is how you know you will going to achieve uh, the maximum month 
last month by subtracting the maximum month by one if you're subtracting three then you know uh, it you will go three months back all that sort of information you can achieve same is the case with year so you want to go back to last year then select the current year by putting max year uh, and uh, then minus one to go back to the last year and produce your calculations like year over year uh, calculations so <coughs> apart from this uh, there is a very uh, you know important point in doing th these kind of analysis say for example uh, if I click on one right so month one value will reflect but there is nothing before month zero so month one for 2006 is January but if I want to go back it should be December of uh, uh, you know 2005 right so so this is basically a situation uh, where we need to produce a custom calendar kind of a thing so sometimes it is easily achievable uh, by putting some if conditions but it is always uh, advisable to produce some um, some kind of master calendar where you is you are giving basically a date range suppose uh, you want to produce uh, the the dates from 2000 to 2006 so the master calendar is basically going to produce uh, all the days between these years so I know theoretically that will not be uh, uh, you know understandable as as long as you know you don't see the application and everything but there is like a lot of authors which have which already have put a lot of uh, stuff out there for master calendar so look those things up and uh, see how you can resolve these kind of solution uh, situations uh, where you know you may run into issue whenever you are selecting month one so ideally whenever you select month one it should go back to last year and select the December right so so I encourage you go and do a little bit uh, you know uh, do a little bit exploration of this idea master calendar uh, read couple of blogs and uh, if I got if I get some time uh, I will produce some video and give it back to you so this is pretty much all uh, I wanted to discuss in this video and I will meet you in the next video with uh, definitely a new topic till then bye bye